U.S. and Philippine navies hold combat drills in the West Philippine Sea under the watchful eye of a Chinese warship. Greetings, viewers. Welcome back to Fulger Channel. And today we have a crucial update on the geopolitical landscape. Tensions in the South China Sea are reaching a boiling point, prompting the United States and the Philippines to take coordinated action. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to explore the latest developments. As China intensifies its maritime patrols in the contested South China Sea, the United States and the Philippines have initiated joint patrols to assert their presence and safeguard regional stability. The strategic move comes amidst growing concerns over territorial claims, resource disputes, and the broader geopolitical implications for the Indo-Pacific region. The Philippines and the United States have started joint patrols in the disputed South China Sea. The Philippine military announced a two-day joint maritime and air patrol with the U.S. military. This is the second and both parties took part in joint exercises in the South China Sea under the leadership of Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. The Philippines deployed four battleships, while the U.S. deployed the aircraft carrier U.S. Carl Vinson two destroyers, a cruiser and several fighter aircraft, signaling a larger-scale exercise. Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff General Romeo Bronerst said this joint military activity marked a significant increase in the bilateral alliance. He said that this alliance is stronger than before, and both parties are advancing a rules-based international order and a free and open Indo-Pacific region in facing regional challenges. The statement appears aimed at increasing China's presence in the South China Sea. The Chinese military is conducting patrols in the South China Sea as the U.S. and the Philippines hold their second joint drills in the contested waters in less than two months. The People's Liberation Army's Southern Theater Command said it had sent its Navy and Air Force to the South China Sea for routine patrols to monitor activities that disrupt the region. Troops in the theater remain on high alert at all times, resolutely safeguarding national sovereignty, security and maritime rights and interests, the command said on its WeChat account on Wednesday. The patrols were intended to run on Wednesday and Thursday, the statement said. They coincide with two days of joint U.S.-Philippines military drills in the same area, the second exercises in two months as the two allies increase defense coordination in the region to jointly face China. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken reaffirmed that commitment last week in a call with his Philippine counterpart Enrique Manolo. The Philippine media outlet GMA Network said China had deployed a Type 052D guided missile destroyer and a Type 054, a frigate to shadow the Philippine and American navies on Wednesday, triggering warnings from one of the Philippine patrol boats. The patrol boat had issued five messages but received no response from the Chinese side, the report said. The Philippine military said it had deployed two helicopters and four ships, while the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command sent multiple combat aircraft and four vessels including an aircraft carrier, a guided missile cruiser, and two destroyers from its carrier strike group 1 for the joint mission. The Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff General Romeo Bronner said the joint mission with the U.S. marked a significant leap in their alliance and interoperability. Our alliance is stronger than ever, sending a message to the world. We are advancing a rules-based international order and a free and open Indo-Pacific region in the face of regional challenges, Bronner said, according to a Philippine military statement. China and the Philippines have been locked in growing tensions over disputed reefs in the South China Sea that are claimed by both sides. The patrols came as the Philippines said it would send more floating assets to the Scarborough Shoal on Wednesday, days after China warned there would be a resolute response, following a Philippine Congress funding allocation to build a permanent structure in the Second Thomas Shoal. 
as it has tried to reinforce its sovereignty claim. Manila has increased its activity around the disputed reefs, including carrying out supply missions to its troops and fishermen regularly operating in the area. These missions have often prompted blockades from China, including the use of water cannons and a floating barrier to deter them. The obstructions resulted in two ship collisions last year. The two countries blamed each other for the incidents. Maritime security expert Ray Powell, a retired U.S. Air Force officer, described the joint activity as another milestone in the continued reinvigoration of the U.S.-Philippine alliance under the President Ferdinand administration. These exercises send the message that the Philippines is not alone in the West Philippine Sea, but must be considered by potential adversaries as part of a network of military allies and partners. This increases Manila's leverage on the international stage, Powell said. China has competing claims in the South China Sea with the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Vietnam. In 2016, a UN arbitration court ruled in favor of the Philippines, saying that China's historical claims to the sea region, as delineated then in Chinese maps by a 9-dash line, now a 10-dash line, were invalid. But Beijing rejected the ruling and has since insisted that it has jurisdiction over all areas within that boundary. Manila took Beijing to court after alleging that Chinese naval vessels obstructed the Philippines' entry to Scarborough Shoal, which has since remained under China's administrative control. China's expansive claims, coupled with competing assertions from neighboring countries, have fueled a long-standing conflict over territory, resources, and maritime rights. Recent months have seen a surge in China's maritime activities, raising alarms among regional players and the international community. The United States and the Philippines, recognizing the need for a collective response, have joined forces to conduct joint patrols, asserting their commitment to upholding international law and ensuring freedom of navigation. As the geopolitical chessboard evolves, the joint patrols carry significant implications for regional security. The United States, a long-standing ally of the Philippines, reinforces its commitment to the Indo-Pacific region, signaling a collective stance against perceived aggression. How will this impact the delicate balance of power in the South China Sea? And there you have it. Folks, a comprehensive look at the escalating tensions in the South China Sea and the joint patrols by the United States and the Philippines. If you found this video informative, don't forget to share it and leave your thoughts in the comments below. For more updates on global affairs, subscribe to Fulger Channel. Until next time.